In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sprite follow the mouse pointer around the stage as I move it. To accomplish this, we're going to use the forever block, the repeat until block, the touching block, point in direction block, and the move block. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. Scratch has the ability to automatically detect the X and Y coordinates of a user's mouse cursor on the stage. I went ahead and picked the built-in coordinate grid backdrop in Scratch, in case you're wondering where I found this backdrop. Using the point towards block found in the motion palette, we can make a sprite follow the mouse cursor, or mouse pointer, by pointing in its direction and then moving forward a few steps. Keep in mind that if the user is running your project on a phone or a tablet, Scratch won't be able to detect where their finger is unless they touch the screen. Now if I run the script in the scripting area, you'll notice that the sprite points in the direction of the mouse pointer, which right now is in the scripting area, and it did move one step. So if I want to automate this process to make my sprite continually follow my mouse pointer, I'm going to throw it in a forever block. And now if I run it, you'll see that the sprite is following the mouse pointer as I move it around the stage, and even off the stage actually. This technique could be useful if you're creating a game where an enemy might try walking towards the player, or in some other direction. So if you have multiple sprites, you can select that sprite from the drop-down menu in the Point Towards block. Now if I stop moving my mouse pointer and I let the sprite reach it, it kind of bugs out. So I could incorporate a different block to make that effect stop. So I'm going to bring in a Repeat Until block inside of my Forever block, and I want to repeat this code only until it's touching my mouse pointer. So now if I run it, the sprite will stop when it reaches the mouse pointer. And we don't have that glitch. But if I start to move my mouse pointer again, then the other sprite will start following it once again. Touching mouse pointer has that hexagonal shape, meaning it's a Boolean expression. So Scratch is checking to see if this condition is true or false inside of the repeat until conditional. If I want this action to happen just once, I can take my repeat until outside of the forever block, and this will run only until the sprite touches the mouse pointer, and then you'll notice that it stops being highlighted, because now it's not following my mouse pointer. And there you have it. That's one more tool in your arsenal when you're creating a scratch project. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time.